So if y'all bitches want to step to the best, you're looking at them, boys. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Chatting with the Cholo, where I will continue to be your heavily tattooed host, the Cholo. Today, we're going to be diving into another Cyrax video. So please, let's extend a finger so we can both laugh together at this lying, grandmother abusing, child enthusiast, and I'll see you guys in the video. But first, just a reminder to get loked up, just like the Cholo through my official channel memberships. It's that shameless self-promotion, baby. You know how we do it. Let's get back to the video. All right, boys and girls, dudes of all teenagers, here we are with episode 40 of The Goblin at Lloyd Street. And of course, a most thugged up shout out to Inward Boy 3.0 for providing this video for us to enjoy this evening, which is titled Cyrax on YouTube, deleted video, pin 14, 20, 2022. Go check out Inward Boy 3.0's channel and give him a like and subscribe. You guys already know the whole spiel. Go show him some love. With everything being said, go ahead and buckle up and we'll take this ride together. Here we go. What's up, everyone? So, I know this isn't something that, you know, I was expecting to have to do, but there is something going on that, that I need to tell everybody. Did he just wipe drool off of his face? Is that what that was? About a week and a half ago, um, this guy by the name of William Glory Holt. Just shout out William uh, fucking Glory Holt. Dude, that guy lives rent-free in Rax's head. Oh my god. He talks about William almost as much as he talks about Marty. Those dudes straight live in his head. Stole four of my songs and released them through the very highly and widely regarded and respected digital distribution. Highly regarded. I don't know why, but that made my day. Tributor. Um, Toon Gore. All to get back at me because he does not want me making any money. Good. Now, as many of you may remember and may recall, on January 1st of 2021, Are you wearing a Call of Duty shirt? Or I released my song Street Racing Scene <laughs> as an anthem for people like myself that came up around, you know, the car culture, the car scene, came up around NASCAR drag racing, street drifting, you know, all that fun stuff. Well, unfortunately, that was one of the songs that he had stolen away from me. So now, every time I play that song on on Facebook or on YouTube um you just know that's a troll calling you know like every time that I do that now I get a copyright strike Good. which isn't fair to me because that's literally my own work that's how other people feel when you steal their work be it art a book music beats you're doing the exact same thing so kind of hard to feel sympathy for you I mean that ass that's literally my work that somebody else is getting paid for i'm glad it's not you getting paid for it anybody else in the world i don't care as long as it's not you i'm good with somebody making money off of your work one of the earliest earliest reasons why i ever wanted to make a channel was to prove a point that i could make more money off of the name cyrax than you ever could just on the internet last i heard you had made like 11 something dollars and last i looked in my analytics the past month i'm at like 62 dollars i think so i mean i'm not that much but i'm only what halfway through the month so I'm I'm gonna make big money, baby. But my point is, I'm doing better than you. I'm doing better than you ever could have with the name Cyrax. And you've had the name Cyrax for what? Years now since you stole it from Scrubbelo? So figure it out, dickhead. Like somebody else is literally getting paid for my songs, four of my songs that I wrote, recorded, and released. Three of which were done live via YouTube. So I feel like I have a behind the scenes kind of thing. But what gets me is, where is it fair that I don't get to make money off of my own work but yes somebody like william glory hole life is not fair the world is not fair why do you think everything has to be fair that's not the way the world really works you get what you get and you like it if you don't like it you work hard and you change it those are your options you get what you get and you like it or work hard and change and get what you want that's it there's no other option from youtube gets to steal my work and make money off of stuff that i've done like where is that fair this man has literally said blatantly in front of hundreds of of people on live stream that he will do whatever he has to do to keep me from making any kind of income he said those exact words on live stream and hey sam how you doing man and i do apologize for not seeing you there sam i kind of got the thing scrolled down a little bit further so i do apologize for not seeing you now but how are you man and believe me i wish there was a way to stop him but unless somebody knows his real name like his actual real name and his address then i can't stop it unless somebody knows his address his real like legal name then you know what can i do i have no 
no money for a lawyer. Like, I can't afford a lawyer as much as I would love to. I can't do a damn thing because I have no money. Just so you know, guys, I promise I'm paying attention. I'm playing with my new multi-tool. I got a new one. I think I got the surge knockoff. It's the Byberry one. Yeah, I'm very pumped up. Um, beautiful knife blade, liner lock, badass scissors, serrated, you know, the usual suspects. Great bit driver. That, that's all I'm doing, but I promise I am paying attention. I'm just trying to break it in and loosen it up uh, just a little bit, get it oiled, do the things. Why? Like... I want to be able to do music, yes. Like, I don't know what to do about this. The fact that this man has gotten away with fucking up my life. And not just that. He didn't just do that. If you guys remember, I spoke about this yesterday before my stream got deleted again. Shout out to the community. Because I performed my own song, Street Racing Scene. Which is my own fucking song. Shout out Wance Chilkins. Or if you guys didn't see the live stream, I'm sure everybody saw the post. And if you didn't see the post, allow me to fill you in. Okay. For those of you that didn't see the post, allow me to fill you in. A few days ago, my mom went into the hospital and got out. She's fine. She's good. Well, between the time of getting home, or between the time of leaving the hospital and her getting home and being home for a couple days, William Glory Hole decided to call adult protective services on me against my mom shout out william glory hole basically saying that i was abusing her when i wasn't awesome yeah that's how far he went he literally yeah. tried to tell adult protective services that i'm not doing shit and right. that i'm not you know a good person that i'm evil that i'm laying my hands on my mom when the last time i did that was back in 2012 just on the simple fact alone that you can say the last time that happened that's crazy because that implies that there was at least more than one incident that's just Disgusting. A, you put your hands on your grandma mom. B, you put your hands on a female. C, you put your hands on the elderly. Dude, that's three strikes in one shot. I don't think you understand just how hated you are. If you just mysteriously went missing, nobody would miss you, dude. That was fucking years ago. They are literally pieces of shit. Hey guys, this is the part of the video where I want to take a second so I can say a giant thank you to my channel members. Pink Panda, Acetone, Christian EC, Nick's the God of Graves, Dead Heart, Eddie Meeks, Erica Michelle, Depressed Rabbit, and hey, the adults are talking. The support that you guys show is what makes this channel what it is. Thank you guys. Let's get back to our regularly scheduled programming. And yes, I went to jail, and do I regret that? Yes. Once an abuser, always an abuser. Testament to that. I paid for my mistake. Back in 2012, the night that I went to jail, yeah, I paid for that shit. I paid with my life. But what I still fail to understand is how the fuck can any of you trolls be okay with what you do? They're messing with the predator. Like, I don't get it. But You don't get it because you're the predator, dum-dum. Unfortunately, as a result of William Glory Hole doing all this stuff, but more notably stealing four of my songs that the fans really enjoyed and really loved. Yeah. Um, I unfortunately am having to step down from music for a while until I can get my songs back. He really thinks somebody out here cares. I mean, I don't want to, but at this point, I don't have a choice. And the reason I'm stepping down is because I don't want to lose any more of my music. I've already lost four very important songs to me to this asshole. I don't want to lose any more. Dude, no, uh, he just picked that scab, he ripped it off his head, and now he's inspecting it. And then he remembered, bitches, I'm on camera. Like, imagine, nope, I'm wrong, he doesn't even care, he's on camera. That you're a music artist like me, and your fans want you to play street racing scenes so goddamn bad, right? Imagine that you guys created a song like I did called Street Racing Scene. Imagine that you guys created a song that the fans resonate with, that the fans absolutely love. Okay. And some okay. dickhead comes along, steals your song, goes under an artist's name that's similar to yours, but changes the letters around. And Shout out Wance Chilkins. And released it through a distributor like TuneCore that's a legal distributor. Now, imagine never being- uh, He just double backed and checked it. Ew, Gross. Being able to perform that song again for your fans that really love that one song. That's what I've been faced with. The fans want me to be able to perform that song. But unfortunately, I'm not allowed. Because of the fact that Glory Hole now, that Wayne Glory Hole douchebag, now holds all the rights to my music that I wrote and I recorded for that song. As well as three others. And I know it's some of you guys are thinking in your heads like for those of you that don't know me i know what some of you are thinking is oh well it's just a song you can make more yeah i could but i don't want to because when you write a song that's that good that resonates with your fans that resonates with your people that resonates with your fan base that you truly enjoyed making and that they enjoy rocking out to it's not fair that you lose out on that. it's not fair that you lose out on being able to perform that song like it's not fair you lose out on that it's not fair that you lose out on being able to perform that song he really believes all 
all this, doesn't he? That's the most insane part of all of this. Wait, it's not fair. I know some of you are gonna say, oh, well, life isn't fair. Oh, yeah, the fuck it is fair. Escúchame. You think what now? Dude, what a childish viewpoint of the world. Fair if I'm a goblin, bitch. Like, what is he talking about? Yeah, it might not be fair in the sense that we all get fucked and we end up dead in the end, which is true. But the fact that I'm not allowed to perform these songs that my fans enjoy, all because of an egotistical little fucking bitch. Hadn't even had a fucking computer screen like a punk ass coward is not fair. Little bitch. It's not fair to me. It's not fair to my family. And it's not fair to my fans. But like, it's not fair to my fans especially who are like me and enjoy gaming. Who enjoy sim racing. Who enjoy going to car shows. Who enjoy going to car meets. You know, what about them? Like, where is it fair for them? I got another challenge that we could put into our disgusting internet game show that we have yet to name or come up with actual rules for. You have to like sit there and expose your cheek like this and let Cyrax just rub his beard on you for like 10 straight seconds. Just, you know you get fleas and mites and scabies, bed bugs, cockroaches. Ugh, it'd be disgusting. Like, where is it fair that my fans don't get to hear the songs that they want to hear? All because some egotistical little bitch that wants to see me fail steals my music. Like, where is that right? No, where is that even legal? Like, is that even legal to do that shit? Because like I said, I want to be able to perform my music. I do. But I cannot run that risk as of right now because I know that William Goryhold will probably steal more of my songs and do the same thing he did is the last time and i don't i can't risk that again like i cannot risk him doing that again can you not never mind never mind if you can't figure it out no point in me wasting my breath i'm not willing to put my music in jeopardy or my music or my songs that are literally about my life in jeopardy they're about your life and let somebody else get the payment for it that's not happening so unfortunately until i get this whole win glory whole thing you know figured out aside from the couple songs that i am releasing one of which is in five days and another three i know another three that that's in five days and another one that's gonna be on the 19th but aside from those I'm not gonna be doing music for a while those four songs that I'm dropping it sure is scratching an awful lot bed bugs must be biting hard tonight they are going those are just gonna be the last ones for a while until I get this shit figured out because I have no money for a lawyer to fight this guy Good. And believe me, I wish I had money to fight. But I have no money to fight him. Go earn it then. Masshole or Marty. Like, I have no money to fight with. And I wish I did. Because I'm going to be real with you guys. And like I said, I am not making this up. Nor I am exaggerating by any stretch of the word at all. By any stretch of what I'm about to say. None of what I'm about to say is exaggerated at all. This is all real, factual, number crunching fact. Because of Masshole Reports, Music Biz Marty, and William Gloryhole. Just on ad revenue alone on YouTube. To the current dollar as of today. I have lost $2.1 million in ad revenue on YouTube. I mean, think about that. And yes, you heard that right. $1.2 million in ad revenue from YouTube alone is what I'm missing out on. What I'm losing in a month. He thinks he's missing out on $1.2 million in ad revenue a month when his videos do worse than mine and I'm on par to make about $120 a month. What? How did he get to $1.2 million? Man, that goblin math is just far out. And that's not fair to me. That sure as hell is not fair to my my family and it's definitely not fair to friends that I want to help out you know people that I genuinely want to help and do good for like I know a lot of very talented rappers a lot of talented artists bands that could use the money but I unfortunately can't help myself my family or them because of what these people do like I can't go out and get a regular job he was wiping drool off his face. Disgusting. The rumors that they spread. I can't do anything. And that's what's so fucking sad to me. I can't do anything because of these people. I am literally being gang stalked every day by these fucking evil ass people. And I know what's so anything and gang stalking isn't real. Yes, it shut the fuck up. Yes, it is. Because I live through it every fucking day of my goddamn life. So all y'all trolls or anybody out there that thinks gang stalking isn't real, I say this. Shut the fuck up. Because I deal with gang stalking every day. Yeah. In its realest form. It doesn't just apply to the internet. It applies to my real life as well. Maybe we could try getting off the internet. Just a wild thought. Because of this gang stalking shit that I've become a victim of for the last five years, I have lost out on a lot. I've lost out on major brand deal opportunities. I've... Who wants to do a brand deal with you? Who? Dude, Nike? You serious? Dude, come on. Are we serious right now? Let's not. Been kicked off of the major record label that I was with a couple years ago. I've had friends and family lose their jobs because of these people. I almost got shot and killed by police because of these people. And right now in chat, we have a very dear friend of mine that was one of the first to step up and actually stand up for me. Out of everyone. Out of everyone, this man right here was one. And I mean one of. I'm not saying the, I mean one of the 
Ridley first to step up and stand up for me, which is my boy Full Metal Kendo. So, Full Metal Kendo, man, I want to say thank you for doing what you did for me, man. I definitely appreciate it, dude. I truly do. Like, the fact that you continue to stand up for me and help me fight these motherfuckers, it means a lot. And here's the thing, Donovan. I wish it was that easy. I really do. I wish it was that easy to ignore them. But in my case, it isn't. Because like I said, they have taken it from the internet to real life. They have had police called here and had me swatted to where I almost got shot and killed. And yes, you heard me right. I almost got shot and killed by police officers because of these people. So unfortunately, ignoring them in my case isn't, it's, it's not possible, unfortunately. As much as I wish it was possible, in my case it's not. Because these people take it to the extreme. These people literally take shit to the extreme. And when I say taking it to the extreme, I mean like leaving a dead baby pig still in the mother's fetal sack in a box to on our front porch. Leaving bananas with grotesque messages. And I, when I say grotesque, I mean some of the worst things you could ever fucking write. On bananas being scattered out in front of our yard. Having literal dog shit sent to our house. Having some of their little friends pull up to our house to where we've had to have the police escort them off of our property. Just gotta say shout out to the community. Anyone out there putting in that work, our hats are off to you. So I said, man, as much as I wish I could, so I said, man, as much as I wish I could ignore it, unfortunately in my case, it's unavoidable. I can't ignore it. On the norm, if it was just on the internet and they weren't stealing my shit, then yeah, I would. I would ignore it. If they were just commenting, I would ignore it. But when you cross the line from being on the internet to real life, that's where you fuck up. And I think Full Metal Kendo here will agree with me on this. That the trolls see me as I'm not being smart. I wonder why they would think that. But on the contrary, I'm actually very articulate. I'm actually very smart. I actually comprehend things like any other normal person does. You know who says actually a lot? Is my six-year-old. When he says things like, do cop cars have machine guns mounted on the top? And I'm like, nah, dude, they don't. They That's not how they roll. He's like, no, they actually do. In Roblox, I seen it. They actually do. That's what Chance sounds like. Except my son is far more articulate than Chance is. Far more. Like, miles ahead of chance but when it comes to crossing a certain line from being on the internet from being on the internet to real life i don't give a fuck about being articulate i give a fuck about what's taking back what's mine i give a fuck about my fan my people i give a fuck about what i need to be doing i give a fuck about my music i give a fuck about my song i give a fuck about my career like i said i have literally lost 1.2 million dollars in the last five years in ad revenue because of these trolls i have had several channels that have had Oh, well over a thousand subscribers taken down for no reason but to laugh because that's all they do they sit there they let me get to a thousand subs and then they then they come in and mass report me and then I get banned for no fucking reason making it hard for me to make a living and Full Metal Kendo I agree with you bro these people don't have lives they don't have jobs and I agree with you 100% man these people do not have lives they do not have jobs and they're pieces of fucking shit you know the only people that ever actually say things like that out loud are the low pals and degenerates that get laughed at by the trolls and by their respective communities. You just never hear big YouTubers talk like this. I don't know, just a, and again, just another wild thought there. Hey guys, do you like only the absolute best in stolen memes, successful weight loss journeys, and the chronicling of a partial blackout tattoo bodysuit with new line and color work put on top of it? If so, then my Instagram page is for you, and that's right over there. As you can see, it's on top. Also, I created a brand new Discord with a brand new Discord server, which is over there on the bottom. So now go find me on both Discord and Instagram. That way we can continue to grow our community on all legs of the internet. I'll go ahead and stop yapping now. Let's get back to your video. Now, I'm not going to lie to the banana thing, even though some of the messages but some of the messages on there were pretty fucked up. I had to admit the banana thing. That was funny. I'm not going to lie to the banana thing. I can laugh at that. I can laugh at the banana thing. But when you call adult protective services on my family, saying that I'm doing something that I'm not doing, that's when I have a serious issue. Really? That's when you have a serious issue? That's when you have the issue. Oh, Cyrac, your mind must be like of disappointment and stupidity. I guess that really is the best way to put it just a circus of disappointment and stupidity sounds about right exactly full metal exactly and again full metal i just want to say again dude i truly appreciate you guys know when he just scratched his belly he just smelled his fingers right that's exactly what he was doing he was smelling his belly button Ugh, gross appreciate you standing up for me along with the others man you along with the others standing up for him man i truly appreciate that and sam i appreciate what you've done too man like i truly appreciate what you've done full metal i really do like i know i said it before but it's true man like, because of these people, I've lost a lot of friends. Look how big his shirt is. When he pulls it up, look at that. Like, stretches out the neck. What's he doing? Getting men's sizes or something? Thinking that a men's small is gonna fit? You need to get, like, a boy's medium, bitch. <laughs>
Gotti! <laughs> Gotti! <laughs> I've had family stop talking to me. Like I said, I can no longer get a regular 9 to 5 job because of these people. Are you sure it's not because you scratch like you have scabies and the collar of your shirt is all stretched out? Look like a, a mentally disabled homeless fella. Yep. So, you know, like I do want to say though, to anybody out there that has stood up for me, I want to say thank you. Because these past five years have been the hardest years of my life. Good. I'm glad they were. And to anybody out there that is defending Cyrax, I hope life takes a big old fat dump in your series. Bitch. Bitch. Hell, these are, these last five years have been literally the hardest years of my YouTube career in general. You think you have a YouTube career? Why? Why do you think that? You look so stupid. Like, these last five years have... How do I put it? I don't know, but you're a drive-ass turkey. <laughs> Got he! <laughs> Got he! <laughs> My sh my show comments. How many people here have seen the movie Cyberbullet with Emily Osment? How many people? How many of you guys in the comments have seen the movie The Cyberbullet with Emily Osment? You literally repeated yourself riveting content, Cyrax. Because if you've not seen that movie, I highly suggest watching it. But if you guys have seen it, then you guys know where I'm. You guys understand where I'm going with it. If you guys have ever seen the movie The Cyberbullet, imagine that being my life every day. Dude, imagine being 30 years old, going on the internet to whine and cry because you get bullied on the internet for being a whiny ass crybaby just imagine being bullied on the internet being set up to be something that i'm not dude you're 30 years old and you're sitting here saying i get bullied on the internet you're a grown-up adult deal with it having my whole life ripped off from under me slowly every good, day good. slowly being pushed to kill myself every day slowly good. being pushed to end up in jail every day just a little bit at a time every day every day yeah. every day that's been my life for the past five years and that's what these people want they want me to kill myself but I'm not going to. We'll see about that. Like, that has literally been my life for the last five years. And I'm tired of it. I want my life back. So, like I said, unfortunately, until I get this shit dealt with, I will not be releasing any more music. As much as I would like to, I will not be releasing any more music out of safety for my music career. And the safety of my song. Because I don't want these assholes going around stealing my music again. Therefore, I am hiding all my music. I am hiding everything music related. And I'm not going to be doing music until I get this shit dealt with. Because I'm not going to have some jackass like William Gore coming in, sparking in his mouth, and then taking what's rightfully mine. I'm not having it. That's amazing he pulled that off. And believe me, if I had the money to afford a lawyer, I would be getting one right now. To be fair, you did say that you make more in a day than most of us make in a year. We're kind of all surprised that you don't have lawyer money. What's up? What happened? But I have no money. I'm broke. I have to help take care of my mom even more now because she just got diagnosed with diabetes a few days ago. What? 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 What do you have to do? I mean, you're not going to do anything, so what is it that they want you to do? Like, I don't deserve this. My family doesn't need the stress, and neither do I. So to William Glory Hole, I'm telling you this right the fuck now. You and your friends need to shut the fuck up, leave me the fuck alone, and go the fuck somewhere else. No. Or better yet, how about you do your, how about you do the world a favor and get the, get your lazy fucking bitch ass off the internet and actually get a fucking job like the rest of us around here. The rest of who? Because between me and you on my screen here, only one of us has a job. It's not you, bud. What are you talking about? What job do you have? You've never had a job ever 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 you've never gotten up at 3 30 in the morning so that you could be ready to clock in at five uh-uh you couldn't do that you couldn't hang and bang with that not during the winter months not when it's snow and icy out and you're traveling down the road and you got to do 17 miles an hour because it's straight black ice out there and you got to drive on that black ice because you got a house payment you have a wife at home you got shit you got to pay for were you out there doing that no i was were you the one that was climbing up on top of people's roofs getting stuck inside their chimney getting burnt blasted with soot uh having to carry 600 pound stuff stoves, learning how to manipulate and move their weight. Was that you? Was that you one arming 80 pound class A up the ladder? Was that you that did that? So that you could drop it into the support box and uh, make sure you make clearances up top. Was that you doing that? No. No, it wasn't. No, that was me. That was me being a man, doing man things, taking care of my family, providing for them, working my ass off so my child hopefully doesn't have to. And you're in here what? Playing pretend rapper? Cool. What job do you have though? Because I you couldn't do it. You could not. Mm -mm. You could not carry my tool bag. Bullshit. Uh-uh. Fucking weenie. And why don't you do that? How about you get off your fucking fat lazy ass and get a real job? How about that? How about you? You guys hear Ed? Whoa, look at Brax, dude. Look at that stare. Oh, oh my gosh. It's like it took a second for those words to register to him and he's like...
Oh man, guys. That was weird. He's a strange little fucker, isn't he? He's so weird. He's got such weird predilections. And then on top of that, just his behaviors in general. Not I don't mean like the weird like stuff with children being a child enthusiast. Just like the way he wipes his mouth, the way he just stares off into space when he's just when he's doing that weird lizard lick shit that he does. I read that in a comment on the last video too that it called it the rat Cyrax's lizard lick. But what like just the way he behaves, it's so strange. The way he dresses and why are his clothes always so big why can't they buy him like a kid's medium that'll fit him come on guys what's up he's little he's like 110 pounds i'm 168 right now and i wear a medium so what size shirt is he wearing he couldn't fit a small he would need like a kid's medium i'm sorry for rambling guys there's a lot of sorry, silence everybody to take care of some real quick Harry. uh dinner time but, you know it's so not nice. fair to me or my family his bowl of slop for dinner to suffer like like you know and i agree with you full metal kendo with what you said about the police i do agree if i was a pedophile why you are a pedophile was i not arrested that night cyrax i swear to god you are the dumbest motherfucker on the planet if i truly am a pedophile like you trolls fucking claim i am then why was i not arrested that night by the police when they showed up here to confront me why am i not in jail right now and for that matter why is it not on my public record when i showed them everything and i do mean i showed the police everything i showed them the screenshots and everything let me tell you they could tell just by looking that i'm not a pedophile so all you fucking assholes that are running around saying what? that i'm talking to other girls i'm not i don't they could tell just by looking at you that you're not a pedophile the first thing i think of when i see you is this guy's clearly on the registry he has to be how could he not be look at him he's disgusting i say this in every video dude you you can do anything no sex crime that's it if you really want to be the person that you're portraying this street drift king rap superstar dipshit race car driver don't those guys that are like in into that community don't they find it abhorrent to hit women or to, or to force sex i mean that's like the most cowardly shit you can do i can't get my mind around it and just to just think that the only way rax could ever make that happen is if he has to force someone or overpower or manipulate someone which means children it's disgusting it makes me sick it makes my stomach hurt it makes me want to do unpleasant things to cyrax we'll put it this this way he really makes me want to give him a thug hug you guys know what i mean you know what i mean shit that's just you guys looking for a fucking reaction because you're so fucking bored with your lives that you don't have anything better to fucking do and i'm getting sick of it i mean they're getting their reaction that they want out of you like you, you fall for it every time dude and so is my family and gloria while we're at it you little douchebag you say that you respect my mom no the fuck you don't you don't fucking respect her because if you did respect my mom you say you do but you don't like you say you do you wouldn't be doing this shit to me that you do if anything you would be leaving me the fuck alone you and that tinsel head fucking bitch ass canadian fuck boy griker would be leaving me the fuck alone i mean you guys say that you respect my family no the fuck you don't you have no respect for my family you don't respect me you don't respect my mom you don't respect any of us sure don't how could i so glory hole you can take that you respecting my family shit you can take that right there it's so stupid i cannot take it serious when he goes so glory hole <laughs> that name is so perfect Perfect. I don't know how I'm supposed to take it serious. I don't know how a cop is supposed to take it serious when Cyrax comes out and says, yeah, this guy named William Gloryhole is being mean to me on the internet. He sent my mom donuts. Like, man, your life is just like a really sad yet funny failed cartoon show that like got canceled on like episode three. It's one of those shows. Maybe it had potential at one point, but once we got a look at you and saw how, saw how stupid the main character was, fell off after like episode two or three. It's like one of those shows, but on the internet. And you know, one thing I want to say, shout out the Kiwi tape. He has the absolute coolest one-liner on the banner on his channel's homepage. And I wish I would have thought of it. And since I can't come up with a line nearly as good, one of these days, I'm going to use it at the beginning of one of my videos. But let's just go ahead and uh, let's watch some internet. Fuck, that was good. Oh, you guys know that was good. Do like this, crumple it up, and shove it up your fucking ass. No. Because you don't respect my family. No, you no. never did. Nope, sure did it. And I'll be honest, I'm tired of dealing with this shit. How are you? Like I said, I don't deserve this. Neither do. Do something about it. 
pussy. Because my family, my family especially, doesn't deserve what they've gotten put through. They harbor a pedophile, fuck them. Like, come on, my mom and stepdad are elderly motherfuckers. Like, have some fucking goddamn respect for them. Just because they're old doesn't mean they're worthy of respect. Sally's kind of an asshole. Like, she's proven that with the whole Xbox situation that happened last year or whenever it was. And it comes across like a real squirrely motherfucker. He seems like if, uh, if he was in county and it was maybe 20 years ago, he might be a wiry little fucker. For real. I don't know. Just wild speculation. Have some fucking class, man. Have some fucking decency. Have some fucking decency. Have some fucking class. And if you have a problem with me, and I say this to everyone, if you have a fucking problem with me, take it up with me personally on the side in private, and we'll talk about it. I've tried to. I've tried to get in direct contact with you so that I could offer you $5,000 to have a 15-minute full MMA sparring match with me. And you bitch up every time. You won't answer me. You ignore me. One of the very few limited times that we have interacted in real time on the internet you tell me that you couldn't shout out any gang members i don't know where in the wide wide world of gadget you got uh, that i'm a gang member from do i look like a gang member i, I don't think i do I but anyways i tried to offer you that five grand for a uh, 15 minute full mma rules sparring match and you bitch up every time. You find a reason not to talk to me. You find a reason to, to try to block me. So, what's up? If you see this, reach out, pussy. But don't ever bring my family and friends into this shit, motherfuckers. You I just want to reiterate that if this video ever does get in front of Chance's eyes, my audience would love to see me smash your face. So, yeah, maybe one day. Maybe one day. You don't do that shit. If you have any respect like you trolls say you do, which we all know you don't, if you have a fucking problem with me, Pull me aside in private. Talk to me alone in private and we'll settle it there. Whether it be on Discord, on phone call, on Facebook, wherever that spot may be. But you fucking assholes going out of your way to completely fuck my life up for no reason but a laugh is stupid. It's not for no reason but a laugh because you're a child enthusiast. I mean, that's it's not a secret. Half you motherfuckers are a grown ass adult. It's time for you to grow the fuck up and stop acting like fucking high school or grade schoolers or kindergarten. Me? Childish? No. <laughs> you smell like poop though. I bet your house smells like a circus. Like this shit is fucking ridiculous. But I know this live stream's been longer than I intended it to be. But I did want to come on here and spend a little time and let everybody know that I will not be doing my music for a while until I can get this shit taken care of on the legal side of things. So never. So instead, I will be going back to focusing on gaming and ultimately my artwork. And I did you find some cool new pictures that you're gonna trace? <laughs> Gotti! <he>. Gotti! <he. laughs> I also will be continuing my classes every day um, in the morning because if you guys don't know, I actually am taking business classes online. Uh -uh. Um, so I will be focusing more on that and other stuff of that nature so that I can actually start to make a living outside of my fucking music. Since you don't know how to do it with your music. And maybe come back to music in the long run. I'm not saying I'm retiring, don't get it wrong. I'm not retiring from music. That by no means is happening at all whatsoever. That is not gonna be a thing. I am not retiring from good. That's not what I'm doing. What I'm simply saying is that I'm putting my music on the back burner for the time being until I can get shit figured out as far as you know, getting this shit dealt with. But again, to everybody that has had my back through all this, such as Full Metal Kendo, and, you know, all my really close friends and family, I want to say thank you guys. Wait, I can't thank you guys enough. You guys are fucking awesome. Have what really close friends and family are there? Seriously, other than Ed and Sally, who's out there? Make yourself known. Like, hands up. Let us know. It it's pertinent information. We need to know. Fucking love every single one of you guys. And Full Metal Kendo, keep doing what you're doing, bro. I love your content, man. Keep doing what you're doing, bro. Absolutely love what you got going on, dude. Um, but for those of you that do watch my channel, uh, DK Customs, I will be converting that channel to a full-time gaming channel. And starting tomorrow, I will be doing daily uploads, I will be posting, um, all that fun stuff. Um, so in the long run, I actually will be looking for, you know, a sponsorship once I hit the 1K mark, which I'm not far from. Are you serious? A sponsorship at the 1K mark? Dude, I just passed the 1K mark again. Thank you guys, I appreciate that so very, very much. That was fucking pimp of you guys couldn't have been more pimper shit was the pimpest hand but what sponsorship who's sponsoring people at a thousand subs dude anybody could do that i did it come on bruh what are you talking about
We don't get sponsorships at 1K. Nah. I've already got like 600, you know, subs. So, like, I'm super close with the gaming channel. Um, but, Big man. you know, and now. I think my time in music, I'm not saying it is. I'm saying it may. Keyword may. They come to an end. I don't know. We can only hope. Do I want it to be the end? No. But I'll have to wait and see what the future holds. And whatever the future holds and whatever direction I end up going down, well, you know, that's the path I'm going to have to follow. But for the time being, I am going to be, like I said, focusing on my artwork in private. I'm going to be focusing on doing business classes. Um, I may even end up taking some, um, if I can do it, I may end up trying to do some, you know, on the spot, you know, law classes so that maybe I can have a grip on things. I don't know. I'll have to wait and see how these classes go before I end up, you know, going in further because I'm only in my second week out of my month and a half long uh, business class. It's a six-week so class. Six week class. I have, I'll have to wait and see how this class goes. Dude, you signed up for a six-week business class. Don't get me wrong. You know, if if you can do that and you can, you can put that knowledge to some use, cool, good for you. But I highly doubt that Cyrax is doing anything of the sort. Let's finish this one and then from there I'm, you know, going to figure out what to do after that. But until then, I will be living a normal life like I used to do, I guess. You know, live a normal yeah. life, do gameplay videos, work on my artwork, hang out. What about your job? Remember that job you mentioned, like the rest of us? What, what, when are you going to go to that? When are you going to do that part? You know, relax with friends, binge watch anime all fucking day long like I used to, get back into reading manga like I used to, like all that shit. But, yeah, with that being said, I love you guys, and I will- Don't you ever say you love me again. I told you that in last video. Don't you do it again. We'll catch you guys around here on Facebook and on Discord for the next week or so. So, yeah, with that being said, I love you guys, and I will catch you guys later, man. Later Peace. Again. Oh, and the uh, glory hole, and all the trolls, I have one thing to say to you. I have one thing to say to you, Glory Hole, and all you little trolls. And that's this. Fuck you. What an episode. Wow. That was a fun one. He got a little fired up. Not really as fired up as I was hoping, but not too, too bad. That was a fun ride. I'm glad you guys took it with me. If you're still here at the end of this video, thank you so very much. I appreciate you guys. Small channels like mine survive on each and every single minute of watch time that you guys give us. And just so you guys know, I do appreciate it very, very much. If you're new around here, thank you for checking out the channel and my videos. I promise you I am a whore for attention, so I'm really super extra appreciative wink wink and if you are one of my always thugged up ogs you already know how i feel about each and every single one of you out there i love you guys finally here's your reminder to get loked up just like the cholo through my official channel membership it's that shameless self-promotion baby you know how we do it i'll see you guys in the next video